wonderful people, it's Wild here. Today I'll be showing you how to build 15 farm theme decor. This would work perfectly in any farm build or for a full themed world. Keep in mind that materials for each build will be shown in the chest before we get creating, as well as a rough outline shown in copper. It's also a good idea to have some placeholder blocks. I'll be using some orange wool, but dirt works just fine. So let's get creating. Let's start by creating a supply cart. I'm going to start by creating the base of my supply cart. Now I'm going to switch and grab out my rail and minecart chest. And I need to put this in now, otherwise I won't be able to push it into location. So I've sat it on top of these rails and I'm going to hover my cursor so you can see the hitbox of the rails pops up. And then I'll go ahead and break that. And I'm just going to shove this out the way for now. I'm going to use some placeholder blocks to put in a barrier around the back. And I'll push this right over here. Now that I've got all my sides up and I can put in my oak stairs, I'll push this back into the right spot. I'd like it to be about here. And I can fill up the rest of the supply cart now. And back to decorating the actual cart. Next we'll build a hive. And I'll quickly replace the grass here so we can get the finished look. One. For this well, I'm going to start by digging down. And I want to put in some stone bricks going two blocks deep. Like that. Next, I'm going to create the base of my well. For this, I'll need my other stone brick materials. I want to make sure all of my trapdoors are facing the same direction. Let's grab out the rest of our decoration materials. I'm going to place a 
placeholder block at the bottom of my well to place in the rest of my chains. And when you place your water, you want to be careful not to place it on the stair here because it'll go flowing everywhere. You want to place it on the block. Hold shift to place a chain on the lever here. And there we have our well. This trough would be perfect in a paddock with some horses. When building this stack of logs, you might like to build several groupings of these, and each one can be a little bit different. Start by placing my main log running down the centre. And I'm using placeholder blocks to get these facing the right direction. Then I'll put my rails over and my campfires. I want these facing all sorts of directions. You could use this hay feeder alongside the trough in a paddock. This nest goes great with the chicken coop we'll create later. This decorative and functional wheelbarrow is great alongside a farm. To place the buttons, I'm clicking on the outside edge here. And then I'll fill it up with wheat. This light has a really rustic feel to it. This is a simple but effective way to elevate a pumpkin patch. You won't need 64 mango leaves, but it's good to have lots on hand. Of course, you can integrate this in with actual growing pumpkins.
You could try switching out the wood when creating this animal pen for a different look in your different paddocks for your animals. I'll start by creating the back of the pen here. Now that we've got the base of our shelter, we need to create a roof. We've got to make sure we have our oak stairs, our slabs, and our trapdoors and campfires. I'm going to use a placeholder block here to make sure I'm placing all my campfires in the same direction. and I'll place some spruce trapdoors underneath. Here's how our roof is looking. Now we want to add some details. So I'm going to make sure I have my coarse dirt in my inventory, my yellow carpet, my horn coral and water. And I'm just going to start filling up inside here. Make sure when you're placing in your hay, you're rotating it at different angles. This gives a more interesting look. I'm going to use a similar trick to what we did to create our nests. So I'm going to go in with some water and a trapdoor and place in some horn coral. That looks fantastic. And here's a look at the overall shelter now that it's finished and decorated. What farm is complete without a scarecrow? You can use whatever colour banners you like here, but I like red. This water tower looks fantastic alongside a barn. It uses quite a few spruce trapdoors, but the finishing result is definitely worth the supplies. Let's start by creating the base. As I build up, I'm going to add in some fence gates.
So here's how our structural supports look, should look so far. Then we'll add the tube going up the center. Just like that. And next I'm going to go in with some spruce trapdoors. I mean some spruce slabs to create the base here for our water tank. The tank itself is where we'll be using most of our trapdoors. But first I'm going to go in with some barrels. Then I'll place the trapdoors in between. And now I'm going to use some orange wool as a placeholder block and create a square like this, which is three high. And this will help me place in all my other trapdoors. I'm just going to cover the whole thing. And go ahead and flip them all. So you can see that there is a bit more dimension by placing the trapdoors in this way. I'll also use this orange wool to place some trapdoors on the inner side of the block like this. And then using some more placeholder blocks, I'm going to come up and I'm just creating a little support like this to help me place in some upside down barrels. Now I can get rid of all of these blocks. You could actually use all the space inside of this water tower for storage. Now to finish off the top. I've got some invisible slabs here, but I've placed one on top of each of these. I'm back and my invisible slabs are now visible. Now to place this final trapdoor, I'm going to quickly replace this slab here with a placeholder block. And then I'm going to place in this slab and I can replace that slab again. So you can see it's got a nice domed shape like this. For the finishing details, we need to add a tap. So I'm going to grab out my anvil and iron trapdoor. I'm going to place in the iron trapdoor on this slab here and then the anvil coming out of the block like that. I want to create a trough at the bottom of here. I'm going to break these three blocks. Then place in my trapdoors. And to fill this up with water, I'm going to click on these trapdoors here. And you can see that fills it up nicely. And look at our water tower. This tractor is a bit of a bigger build, so we'll break it into parts. You'll need a space which is 5 by 9 for this tractor. I'm going to start by working on the center part of the tractor here. I'm going to use a placeholder block to place in an upside down red nether brick stair here. And I'm going to grab some wool. And I'm going to build across two, then a grouping of three. We've got five so far. One, two, three, four, five, and then two more. And I've broken it down like this because that is going to help us figure out where the other blocks go. We've got one on here with a space here, then three red concrete. Then I'm going to switch and grab my anvils and I'm going to place in these two here and here. And I've got my red carpet going back four gonna grab my glass out and I'll place in one here one of my fences and that goes here and then a wall on top of here so it should look like that now we're gonna build out to either side starting again with our red nether brick stair and I'm gonna do both sides at the same time here as it's symmetrical I'm adding my walls on the top Got three red wool coming this way and some nether brick stairs and see I'm rotating these round
like that. Then I'm going to go in with some concrete. And some more stairs. I'm also going to grab out some slabs. And the rest of my mangrove fences going in here and here. I'll need my glass. Like that. And some levers. Now we're going to add on our tires. Now to do this, I'm going to place in a stair here and here. I'm going to place a dark oak trap door in between the two tires like that. And I'm going to grab out my black banners to hang on the back of each of the tires. Like that. Now while I'm at the front, I'm going to grab my hoppers and grey carpet. And I've got three hoppers going across the front. Here's how it should be looking. Now we want to create our large back tires. So I'm going to start by placing in a black stone here. And I want to make sure it's centered on these three and then one above it like this. And I'm just going to create a circular tire shape using the stairs and blocks. In the center, I'll place in a red concrete and I'll do the same on the other side. Now for some details, I want to make sure I have got my carpet in my inventory as well as my buttons. And I'm going to create the canopy for the tractor here. Covering the top with red wool. Like that. I'm going to place my buttons on the wheels. And I'm going to add three walls coming up the side here, just to one side. To finish off this tractor, I'm just going to grab out my black banners and hang two more on the back from the block here. And look at that red tractor, it looks fantastic. If you wanted to, there's space in this tractor to creep up here and add in a rail, a minecart, and then you can sit in your tractor. How cool is that? This chicken coop is also a bigger build, so we'll break it into sections. Let's grab out all of our materials. Here you can have a look at the outline for this build. The coop itself is 5x5 five five with three sticking off to the right hand side and then the rest of the blocks mark in where the fence is going. I'll start by just breaking this section where the coop will be. Okay, I'm going to build up three high with my oak logs. And I'm going to use a placeholder block here to place in a whole bunch of spruce trapdoors to create the floor of the coop. This way they're all going to be facing the same direction. Like that. Now I'll grab out some oak stairs. some oak trapdoors. Before we add in the roof, it's a good idea to build the interior. I'm going to put a hay bale here and a hay bale here. I'm going to use lightning rods to create a little perch. 
and I want to make sure the larger end are connected to the walls on both sides. Then I'll use some more spruce trapdoors to create some more shelves and to give the coop a more enclosed feeling like this. And now we're ready to work on the roof. This roof has lots of texture and dimension. We're using spruce slabs and some campfires here. And it's got quite a unique shape. I'm going to start by placing in my spruce slabs here and here. And it's going to have a slow, a, a shallow peak going in this direction. Then I want to add in my campfires and I'm placing these on the block above the, uh, above these here. So it's sitting up on this level. And I'm going to make sure I have a shovel on hand here. You can use any shovel to put up my campfires as it build, just so the smoke doesn't get in the way. I'll go in with some slabs behind here. And then some more of these campfires. Like this. Now I'm going to come up another layer here using my spruce slabs. And then connect up like this. And I want to place another campfire in this gap. Now for the top, I've got three slabs in the center. Finishing off with some campfires. And look at the awesome shape this roof creates. Now we need to fill in this hole here. Now. I'm going to go ahead and break these two blocks just to make it easier to access the interior of the build. And I'm going to place a trapdoor here and here to fill in the gap. And then I can go ahead and place back in those blocks that I broke. I then want to add another slab underneath. And this just finishes off the look. Next I'm going to go in with my oak fences underneath the edge here. And I'm going to hang a lantern from one of these. Like that. Next, create a little walkway up for our chickens. I'm going in with some slabs. And I'm going to add some nesting boxes to this side. Very, very cute. Now I'm going to go and break these other um, outline blocks so I can start putting in my fence. Now, of course, you can change the shape and outline of your fence to suit your area. But I like this sort of natural shape. I'm going to add in a gate here as well. And I want to add a little kind of archway over the top of my gate. Just like that. We've got a bit more decorating to do here. I'm going to make sure I have my lanterns, my grass. Oxide daisies, dandelions, and hay bales in my inventory. I'm going to add a little bunch of hay over here. Switching up the direction of my bales as I place them. I'm going to flip down this trapdoor here so I can place a lantern inside my chicken coop. And I'm going to place some lanterns along the fence. I think I'll have... I'll move this one forward here and one over here. I think that's a nice distribution of light. Then I'll go in with my grass. And my flowers. Look how cute this chicken coop is. I hope you got lots of inspiration for decorating your builds today. Be sure to comment your favorite build down below. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more. I'd love to have you back. See you in another video.